Let's do some news! My name is Mike B. Today's day is July 5th, 2019. It is Independence Day weekend. Most of you guys are probably out enjoying that uh, if you live in the States. And uh, you should. Oh, God, it's got yelled at. I just started. What? They're not yelling at me. Just kidding. Okay, other people are yelling at other people in the house. All right, we're good. So, like most hot summer days, sometimes you find yourself to be a little thirsty. Boy, do I have some news for you. You too can drink the bath water of Belle Delphine's, uh, well, from Belle Delphine's bath. Fuck, ah, fuck. All right. So, yes, this is, this is not, this, this is what the news is like this week. Okay, guys? So, um, for those of y'all thirsty dudes, quite literally thirsty dudes, uh, you do have an option to buy Belle's bath water. Uh, <clears throat> you can't, she's sold out. Well, you could buy, I bought 12. You could buy it on eBay, I'm sure. Actually, hold on a second. I should have done it for the show. I'm gonna look right now. Hold on, I'm gonna look right now. So while we're doing that, yes, you can indeed buy somebody's bath water. It sounds fucking weird. It is fucking weird. I don't understand why this is a thing. Oh my God, it's actually on. It's actually on here. It's actually on here. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's actually on here. I was not prepared for this. I was not ready for this to actually be here. Uh, wow, so. It's still available for those of you guys who are willing to shut out a few extra dollars. She uh, was selling it for $30 a jar, I believe, initially. Um, and uh, and she sold out because she said that she was actually not able to take as many uh, baths as required to meet the demand. Uh, so supply has obviously run dry. Now, uh, <laughs> we may see a restock in the future, but... <laughs> I guess we'll just have to tune in later and find out if <laughs> we get some more fucking bath water. Uh, so Be Belle is a, um, uh, she, she is an influencer of sorts. She, uh, she has an Instagram account with 3.9 million uh, followers and she is very forthcoming. She's very forthcoming with her actions. She is not, this, she, she, this is not all happening in a vacuum where she doesn't understand how weird this is. She 100% knows, 100% knows that she is, uh, that she is, really work in the crowd here uh in this interview here she's with metro um she's already she said she already shifted 500 jars of the stuff and now it's sold out and that was at 30 dollars a piece it was on 30 dollars a piece initially right here you go uh 30 dollars a pop uh so 30 times five i can't do math right now computer what's 30 times 500 30 times 500 is fifteen thousand. there you go thank you so much 15,000, it's such an easy thing to do, but I'm doing a show right now, okay? I can't do, I can't read and fucking do all this math at the same time. Uh, so it says all, and all, so she says, there's a joke in the community among gamers where they will comment and on a post saying, let me drink your bath water, she tells Metro. And although it's a joke, I just kind of found it funny, I kind of found the idea of turning it into reality and actually letting people buy my own bath water uh, to be quite funny. Um, I wonder if there is some kind of is is there is there some kind of like I don't know health thing with this that you can't do? Uh, they, like there's got to be something somewhere where it's like, you know, you can't. It's kind of like when you go to the store and you pop open a thing of ice cream and you lick it and you put it back. Um, like there's got to be some kind of like health violations or something. She's not selling it as a beverage. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> well, there it is. <laughs> I, I guess yeah. Okay. Uh. I guess, yeah, you can buy, you yeah, you could buy used bath water. Sorry, sorry, I, I guess I wasn't, um, she specifically says don't drink it. She specifically says don't drink it after she says, hey, <laughs> people say let me drink your bath water, so I thought it would be kind of a, a good idea to actually sell it. Uh, sure, it's fine, the, prem the premise was not, um, uh, it does not really mean that you should drink it. Don't drink, don't drink other people's bath water, guys. Like, don't, it's, that's fucking... That's weird. I wouldn't even drink my own bath water if I was like really clean and just jumped in the bath for a second. Um, I wouldn't drink my own bath water if I did not take a bath in the bath that I drew for myself. I just wouldn't do it. I just, I just don't trust the tub to be that clean. I feel like I do a good job cleaning it, but I just don't 
feel like I would, yeah, no. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so she says, I've had a bunch of odd requests. Some have asked me to spit in the water, pee in it. I've requested the water come off my body and drip into the bottle from certain areas. Uh, honestly, with the kind of messages that I get daily, requests like that don't weird me out anymore. She's got 3.9 million fucking followers on Instagram. She know, you know that she gets bombarded with weird shit all the time. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so she and so and she's gonna milk it. She's like what, nineteen years old or something, right? She's like nineteen years old, um, and she's just gonna make bank off of uh, off of people. Just, I mean, I get it. Some folks are probably buying it just because they think it's funny, and that's fine. But someone out there is drinking that water. Someone out there is is definitely drinking the Kool Aid. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, <laughs> um, I, I tried, I tried to get, I tried to get one in here so we could do, uh, so we could actually have like a little kind of unboxing and everything and, and, uh, but I couldn't get, well, I couldn't get one in time because she had run out, unfortunately. Um, you would think there would be a way, maybe she could like streamline the process. Like she could just like have a, uh, like the water faucet just kind of like, just kind of like, like kind of runs off of her and then like into like, like, a, like a, think of like a, um, uh, uh, like a, like in a factory, like the soda bottles and everything, where just kind of all the bottles, kind of empty bottles, kind of go in the machine. Go sh 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 sh. Like she could just stand there, and the liquid just go and bounce off of her, and it goes right in. She could take a break every once in a while and dry off, right? Kind of deep prune a little bit, and then uh, and then do it again. There's a, there's a way to streamline this shit. She could be making all kinds of money. Fifteen thousand dollars is a drop in the bucket. That's fucking weird, man. I don't even know what to say about that shit. There is no transition to our next story, but we're not going to dwell on this one, on this bell shit for too long. Sorry. Uh, we're going to move on. So, NBA 2K19. Uh, <laughs> it's like, we're, we're really shifting gears here. Sorry, Olivia. I know. We got to move on. NBA 2K19 has... Uh, <laughs> has uh, uh unskippable ads and fans are not happy uh yeah so this is not a new new story but the first time this happened it didn't go anywhere uh the reason why this is taking off now so first of all the way it works is when you play nba 2k19 you have your loading screen right and <clears throat> what is the transition speaking of dribbling god damn dang ah. Oh! man all right so um whenever you whenever you transition from from you know like through a loading screen into the game itself uh there is this feature called uh nba 2k tv and in nba 2k tv you can uh in the loading screen you can actually do trivia and do stuff like do like some things in order to earn uh in-game currency um and the in-game currency can be spent on in-game stuff that's that part's not relevant what's relevant is Previously, if you were still working on the trivia section and the loading was done, you can you could hit a, the button a button to skip, right? Well, with and what I think it is is actually just Snowfall because everything I've seen so far from it has been just this show Snowfall, uh, and I'll show you here's the actual video of it in action, where you could see <clears throat> he's in the setup page and then he goes NBA 2K19, it plays this. And it plays Snowfall, and he can't, he can't actually get out of this. He's basically stuck here watching it. Uh, it's a surprise mechanic. It is a surprise mechanic. Yeah, so we'll loop this right here. We'll let that go while we, uh, uh, while we discuss this. <laughs> I feel like we're running an ad for this thing. Uh, it is quite, yeah, it's a very... It was brought up in January. Somebody was like, did I just get an unskippable Converse ad? But then somebody, that was in a Steam, Steam community form. Um, but then somebody was like, just disable M NBA 2K TV and that'll solve your problem. And that was fine before, but now people are not able to skip uh, some of these. Uh, some of these some, for some reason, I won't watch Snowfall. Um, okay, that's enough for this. <laughs> it is a bit much. It's a, it's a lot of, it's, it's a little bit much. Uh, oh God, everything's moving over here too. Um, so the, actually I actually have the original post right here. January 2019, because I was wondering, like, this is not, this can't be a new thing. They didn't just, like, come out of nowhere and do this. So it is, was I just forced to watch a Converse ad? Come on now, VC microtransactions are bad enough. Now you're making me sit through a 2K TV Converse ad before I even play the game. And then it says, yes, the message said game loaded po uh, popped up while the ad was playing. Yes, I did smash A, try to skip it, but it did not work, obviously. Uh, and then somebody says, oh, yeah, so last year we were forced to sit through countless commercials of 4 Mountain Dew, Reese's Sugar, 
uh, trigger something without the ability to skip them because those ads were disguised as career cutscenes. So this is a big improvement, actually. You can skip it at least, but uh, also if, if it annoys you that much, you can go to the settings and set watch 2K TV while loading to off. So this is not new, but the reason why this is making this is making headlines now is because they recently had a um, a discount where you could buy the game for two dollars and ninety nine cents. It was super fucking cheap. You could buy an NBA 2K19 for three dollars, which is like. A $60 game for $3. Now, mind you, plenty of people bought the game for $60 for full price previously. Uh, who probably, who, who, you know, they, they, they have to sit through these same ads as somebody who paid $2.99. Is. So you think, oh, you pay $2.99, yeah, you watch some ads, you got a game for free or whatever, right? No, it's still not a good excuse to act, to, to force ads down someone's throat like that. Um, but the, let me just toggle over here to the, uh, da, 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 da. but it's, it's obviously like, just it, it seems it seems like the timing is set up in a way where because I've again everything I've seen in terms of what's unskippable has been related to the snowfall show. It seems like this show or the the, the um uh their their company basically reached out and made a marketing deal where they probably set it up where like okay hey we we could we can get eyeballs on this on your advertisement uh once we discount the price to three dollars we'll have a, like thousands of new people playing the game. And we'll put these unskippable ads in here on accident or whatever. Um, and we'll be able to, you know, you get plenty of eyeballs on your shit. And it's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of nasty. All right. It's, it's kind of like, it's kind of dirty. I mean, we've seen a lot of dirty shit from EA. Uh, but yeah, this is a little extra. It's a little extra slimy. Uh, you can't, you can't, you can't skip them. You can't block them because everything is, you say ad block mod. I mean, a lot of folks are playing this thing on, uh, uh, on, on console, so unfortunately they wouldn't be able to just block uh, uh, however they would like. Um, and also these things are embedded in such a way that I feel like it'd be very difficult to block them uh, through through other means, uh, even through like a router setup or something. I feel like they, they, they're they injecting these in such a way that's probably not particularly uh, easy to, uh, to, to, to block. But <clears throat> there really is, I feel like there really is a counter argument to this. Some people pay $60 for a game, and now they have to watch unskippable ads for a TV show that they probably will never watch. And, that, and, and in some cases, they say it's 60 seconds, a 60 second ad for this, uh, which is, uh, that's, that's bullshit. <laughs> just disconnect your console. It's probably easier just to like, yeah, to just reset, just like Alt F4 the fucking console and then restart everything up and then uh, get back in and play and hope you don't get the ad the second time. Um, they probably add those ads as game patches. Yeah, probably. Well, they sold it. So they sold the game for $2.99. Uh, and the dirty part, too, is that people use that 2K TV segment in order to earn in-game currency. So if you if the option is to turn off 2K TV so they don't see any ads at all during loading screens, well, they're also missing out on a core function of the game in order to earn in-game currency. Uh, I'm fine if they replace loading screens with ads, but remove the microtransactions. Here's the problem I see with replacing uh, loading screens with ads. You're right, removing microtransactions would be great. Um, is that you, you, you would think that, okay, if the loading time takes 30 seconds, we could squeeze a 30 second ad in there. But what happens when the loading time is 10 seconds, but we have a 15 second ad? Exactly, what By Templar said. The loading screens are gonna start getting longer and longer and longer. They're not going to, there's no incentive. If, if loading screen ads become a norm, then there's no incentive to improve on load times. So loading screen ads should just be stopped altogether. We should not support that shit at all because it'll just make in the long term, if that becomes a standard because they can't do surprise boxes or whatever the fuck, they can't do, you know, all these other things. Yeah, this is, this is something that, um, you we want to avoid at all costs. Otherwise, yeah, all of all, no matter how fast your hard drive is, you're gonna you're gonna be your hard drive. <laughs> no matter how fast your shit is, you're going to be uh, uh, sitting there waiting for an ad to finish because we're okay with advertising in games. Two um, K probably seems the uh, uh, see the hammer coming down on loot boxes and is getting ahead of the game. Like, yeah, yeah. Let's go back to to cartridges with instant loading. Yeah, exactly. Like so, like I said, there's no incentive. There's just no incentive to, uh, to uh, to speeding up load times if you know if you know that you're going to be uh, just throwing, showing ads and shit during the uh, uh, during those loading screens. Um, but yeah, again, like you know, this was something that showed up in January. It didn't really get any 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 traction because everybody at that time, like, uh, clearly was not a very um, 
uh, it was it was not a, a a widespread thing because I couldn't really find too much else on this, and this only had two comments. Uh, but now, two weeks this is two weeks ago, and most of the headlines, yeah, really came out about about a week ago or so. Everyone started really kind of picking up on it, and that's good because we need to be made aware this shit's happening. Even if you don't play, I don't play NBA Two K anything. I don't play any sports games. And honestly, like most most of most sports games, um, most sports games fandom, I feel kind of exists in a separate, like on a Venn drag diagram, kind of a separate bubble that doesn't really have a whole lot of overlap. So even with news, I don't really catch a lot. It's kind of like fighting games. Like fighting games also kind of exist in their own separate bubble. Uh, and so we need to pay attention to news like this that comes out of there because this kind of shit could very well, very easily make it into other games. So let's not let's make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> Don't support games that do this. Uh, Amazon says clearly that the cheaper Fire version comes with advertising built in. I doubt EA did that. Maybe in some fine print somewhere. <laughs> Could you imagine GTA 6 having uh, ads and load screens? Okay, Grand Theft Auto 5 has such long ass load screens. They could show you an entire episode of something. Uh, it starts with a sports game and then it spreads. Look at FIFA loot boxes. Yeah. I'm honestly amazed at how normally so uh betrayal like hacker communities not seem actively talking down EA, although EA is a big enough company and gives so little shits about the people that could definitely see them keeping problem solver division under them, take out unwanted elements. Um we all know the sad thing is people complain when they continue supporting these games. And they, yes, yes, that's yes, yeah, that's pretty much what happens. It's and this is the same thing. I didn't put um, uh, I didn't put uh, uh, G2A news in here because G2A is making headlines this week because it's a slow week uh, about them not you know basically providing um, I guess like legit key sales. We know that G2A is garbage. Uh, we talk about it probably once a year. GTO D2, G2A is shit. G2A is shit. Don't buy from them. But what happens? People buy from them anyways. So <clears throat> here's the difference. You play a game. Uh, yeah, you play a game of average four hours. You encounter loaded screen from twenty times. Time will increase. Uh, the time increase will not be necessary. What do you mean? So if you, uh, you oh, average of four hours. Sorry, uh, you encounter the loaded screen about twenty times, and then time increase will not be necessary. Um, you know what would be would complete the cycle if they put ads about their own loot boxes. <laughs> Don't give them ideas. Everyone tells you to buy from G two A and use their codes. Yeah. Uh, we're not talking about that today because it's something that comes up all the time and people just continue to buy other stuff. Eventually, it's going to be like that with everything, I guess. It's like, we're going to talk about, hey, look, they have unskippable ads in NBA 2K19. They're probably going to put those in other games. It's, oh, man, we're not going to buy EA stuff anymore. Oh, my God, there's a new fucking Battlefield. There's a new Battlefront. There's a new whatever. Uh, we're going to buy those games. Oh, my God, there's unskippable ads in here. What do I do? Oh, I bought the game already. I knew better, but I did it anyways. Silly. Um... It's easy to become like mobile games. Deluxe versions will come out without ads. Standard versions will have ads. Yeah. Yeah, you could probably you could buy a $60 game and then pay a little extra and not have the ads shown. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's next? Let's talk about this weird shit. I'm kind of skipping around with like my news uh, uh, layout here. I had a really good thing going and I know I'm going to mess it all up. Um, speaking of advertisement, I suppose. I think. Actually, I'm not entirely sure. Windows is doing some weird stuff. I don't understand exactly what they're doing. We'll talk about some of you guys may already be uh, privy of what happened today. Um, but let's start at the beginning. Some days ago, they released this video. And that was it. So they released that video, and it was a uh, it was it it see it's if you if you watch Stranger Things, you you hear that song that's playing right there. It's very reminiscent of in the style of Stranger Things. So some people, most people, did not catch that. I didn't catch it. I was like, what the fuck is Windows doing? Uh, teasing Windows 1.0. Just strange. Uh, I checked in today to see what had come of it. And they had a new update. In this update, they actually sh they're actually showing this computer screen. So before we move forward, are you sure you're ready to go nowhere? And I don't know if you caught it. We'll go back. We'll go back and watch it again. So we can pause it right at the right moments. You can see Microsoft, Netflix, and then you scroll forward a little bit, and it goes do 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 do. Where is that? There it is. Stranger Things. 
Boy, that's really impossible to read. But it says something there. There's a date there, right? Uh, and so over the past couple of days, what we thought was potentially like a Microsoft 1.0, or sorry, Windows 1.0 re-release or something. Yeah, classic PC. Uh, seems to have turned into a an ad for fucking Ovaltine or something, right? Like <laughs> for for, for uh, Stranger Things. It's just it's just weird. Um, and here's the thing. The the code here translates into uh some actually put it down here, but it translates to July 8th. And you would think that the date would translate into the release date for Stranger Things. But Stranger Things season three, as mentioned in chat here, uh released yesterday. So what's happening on July 8th? In a reply, somebody else is like, what the fuck? It says July 8th, re-release of Windows 1.0, and Windows says, we shall see. I would think, I would think, and talk to disrespect comes back. <laughs> it's like a really weird crossover episode. <laughs> I would think that if they were not going to release Windows 1.0, uh, they would just ignore this and not say shit like, we shall see. They should just like not say anything. Um, but I guess we shall see. <laughs> July 8th is uh, uh is is the date in code uh in that in that tweet and so i don't know what what the fuck is it going to be is it this is i mean clearly part of this was a teaser for uh uh for this fucking gif uh, uh clearly some of the, some of this was a teaser for stranger things or uh an advertiser for stranger things uh let's do that but what the fuck Windows 11, I think it's going to be the source code for Windows 1.0. There you go. I've seen that. I've seen that. That that would make a little bit of sense. Microsoft's going to release subscription-based OS. Jeez. Everything else is already subscription-based. Why not? Um, Microsoft is open sourcing so much lately. I'm curious. What, what would opening up 1.0 do to... Um, I mean, like... you. The amount of adaptation you'd have to do to make Windows 1.0 work currently, like that would be insane. This is this is like old gear, old. It would do, yeah, I say like, do almost nothing. Yeah, like there, there. Yeah, there's just no way that there, that anything would actually come of this. Not not immediately. Bill Gates bathwater, motherfucker. That could be what it is. July 8th, here it comes. Uh, no, um, they've been opening up a ton of stuff, including the calculator and the GitHub. Wow. Has no reason to release Xbox Classic. They're releasing classic PCs. Oh, man. So it's it's a strange. It's it's at first at first I was like, whoa, interesting. And then I was like, oh, I'm let down. But then like the date doesn't line up. And then they're like, we'll see. I don't know what the fuck to believe. I have no idea what the fuck to believe. But I guess we'll just uh, July 8th. July. What is that? Monday? Let me see. What is today? July 8th. It's indeed Monday. Yes. Yeah, so Monday. We will know for sure. What is it now? Here's the thing. They even they they have a uh, uh, an Instagram account that um, they actually cleared, like wiped completely for this whatever this collaboration or release or whatever it is. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick if I can find it. Um, but yeah, they actually clear. They actually wiped everything like clear. It's fucking weird. We go Instagram here. I got open. Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't show that. Uh, let's see. Microsoft. Microsoft. <laughs> Quickly, get me, get me out of here. Microsoft, was it Microsoft or Windows that had it? God damn it, I think it was Windows. Windows. Yeah, oh yeah, here it is. Okay, good. So it actually, yeah, they did do it. Look, it's, uh, they wiped it clean. The all new Windows 1.0 with MS Locks, they painted more. I don't know, man. Maybe it's the Windows Chrome 1.0 release? Oh, that's right. There is that Windows Chrome thing they're doing, huh? Uh, MS Windows has become San Diego Skynet begins June 9th, July. Uh, <laughs> we're already dead. Uh, Windows has been doing better the past several years. Well, Shizzle does not think so. Actually, I don't know what Shizzle thinks now. But, late, but last I checked, he was not a fan of Windows 10. Uh, July 8th, we learned that, the win that Windows is responsible for the Demogorgon. Yeah. We'll, we'll just... Um, 
We'll follow up on this next week for sure because I am genuinely curious what this strange, strange like re-release announcement slash tie-in to like pop culture shit is gonna fucking uh, amount to. I'm, it it feel it feels like a drink more Ovaltine situation. It really, really, really does. Uh, Shizzle, Shizzle does not think <laughs> does not think so. User opinions are moot. All the sys admins and programmers I know love Windows 10. There you go. Fuck the users. Let's see. Uh. Speaking of developers, this one developer for a video game called Planet Explorers accidentally deleted their multiplayer code. This is tragic. This is tragic, man. This shit was cash. That's one way to put it. This is tragic. This is terrible. So I'll, re I'll just read this out to you right now. A uh, game is called Planet Explorers. Uh, so as you know by now, if you're still playing PE, our lobby, our lobby er, server had an issue where all the code base got deleted from its server. After trying to fix it for the last month, we've arrived at the unfortunate conclusion that it's a lost cause unless we completely rewrite the code from scratch. We use a software called Ulink for PE, and that software is now defunct. Even if we have the original Ulink code, we still don't have the configurations and additional code we wrote back in 2013. Under the circumstances, we just don't have the resources to rewrite the multiplayer code for PE. We're truly sorry for this. Just straight up lost everything. This is yeah, this is this is this is a this is a lesson in uh in not backing up your stuff. Knock on wood. I try to back up as much stuff as possible, but I can't really afford to back up everything. So some things may be lost, but back up your shit. Um so without the multiplayer, Planet Explorers will not be able to uh, will not be Planet Explorers will not be the complete package that we originally envisioned. Thus, starting next week, we'll make the game free. We'll also try to make the game code available online. We're looking into the how part. Uh, I highlighted all, I hit delete, and I fell on my keyboard and I press Alt S. There you go. Control S. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, going forward, we will be making a PE2. It will be much better than the original as we've matured as a studio. We'll probably start on that project next year. We'll put the game's alpha on a branch of Planet Explorers for free for you to play when the time comes. Thank you all for supporting us at this time, Planet Explorers team. Um, no friendos don't make it free. Yeah, so they made it free, and good people need the dollar dues to make. I, I don't know how many people are actually involved with the creation of this. Uh, if this is like it's the Planet Explorers team, could be like two people, three people, um, especially because the game started development in 2013. Who knows on a game that they're providing maintenance for, uh, and maybe developing some features. Like how many people they actually still have like on the you know on the payroll. Um, it does suck, and I know still yeah still though it does suck. Obviously, their the review pages are getting uh, bombarded. Those of you guys who are not familiar with the game, uh, it does have a kind of arc, No Man's Sky type look. Let me get you some gameplay here, uh, as you can see right here. Um, but yeah, it's a fort. Even the video actually shows multiplayer, <laughs> so that fucking sucks. Uh, I bought the game a few years ago. I want my money back. I generally feel uh, feel bad for them, but not ha but having played the game, it's not great, and multiplayer wouldn't have been very good anyways. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, most of the most of the reviews are negative. Recently, mostly negative. Uh, and it says a perfect example of risks of buying early access titles. I bought this game for the multiplayer, and now the multiplayer is gone forever. And they made the game free to play. Now they want us to pay again for the sequel. Not going to happen. I also don't see them refunding anyone who's purchased this one. Um. Yeah. So, like, what do they do then? Just like maybe not make it free. I think. I mean, Olivia's right, right? Like, don't make it free. That's pretty. I mean, it's on one hand, it's kind of like, oh man, it sucks. You're just basically throwing in your hat on this thing, you know. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, as as stated, uh, some people have bills to pay. It's like, oops, we messed up. We can't fix it, so we're giving up. Going to make a sequel to a game we can't finish. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the TLDR right there. Ah, uh, he says, yep, still not buying, still never buying an early access game. But that's so many of them. <laughs> so many, so many of these games are early access. Uh, so many games, yeah, yeah, are early access even after they're like, what, what, there's, uh, uh, what is that game from Clay that's going on? Um, I don't remember the name because it's Epic Game Store. Uh, but yeah, it's going to Epic Game Store for early access for a year and then it's going to go to early access on Steam. Just strange, just strange. All games are early access now. Uh, like a Fortnite in space, 6.5 out of 10. Planet Explorers, let's see, uh, getting negative feedback everywhere for a game. Now, with that knowledge, this deletion sounds oddly convenient. Uh, caught the tail end of the Windows 1.0 thing. Did you get the updated news that it's Stranger Things time promotion? Yeah, we talked about it a little bit. But we don't actually know if that's for sure. We know that's part of it, but we don't know if that's if that's where it ends. 
You have to watch the VOD to find out more. Uh, what if America never landed on the move? What? Uh, it's really tempting to buy early access games because the price is always cheaper uh, than most of them. That's true. Yep, like 6% of the market is early access. The other 40% is early access and just won't admit it. Damn. Yeah, it's true. Ah, <sighs> boy. Boy. Hey, some of you guys, uh, uh... <laughs> speaking of keeping people employed, Blizzard is looking for some community managers. So <laughs> uh, oh, man. This is a tough one. Yeah, this is a, this is a yikes. Yeah, this is... There's not enough yikes for this. Yeah, so so for those of you guys who are unaware, which is very few of you, um, they did just let go of, uh, I think we calculated 800 some people worldwide. Uh, and that was three months ago, two months ago, something like that. I'm not quite sure an exact date on that, but it they, they let go of a ton of people and now they're looking for more people. February. Okay, so so three two three months ago, um, is that it's that will get rid of people who are long term employees and pay less by hiring new ones. Yes, yes. And a former community manager, specifically for Hearthstone, was very vocal about this, and I am so so happy that she was. This is uh, Christina Zarina uh, on uh, on Twitter. Um, some of you guys may know her cosplay actually maybe not so much the work that she did uh behind the scenes at hearthstone but uh prior to that she uh she the the uh, like basically the official monk cosplay like if you see like the the arc from like 2013 or something like that or the uh, um photos 2013 2014 somewhere around there like that was that was that was christina like she like the perfect monk the devil monk cosplay you've seen it this is her. Um, she was also a community manager for Hearthstone. Uh, I don't know about community manager specifically. That she said right there. She's global content manager at Blizzard. Thank, thank you. Um, thank you, sidebar. <laughs> All right, so she says, really, Blizzard, you laid off your entire Hearthstone community team and left it in shambles. Other CMs you laid off are still looking for work, not me, and you post this. Shameful. Shame on you. The bell. Boop, boop. Um, that's not what a bell sounds like. Um, she used to be Hearthstone CM and then moved over. That's right. That's right. I knew she was a CM related to Hearthstone because I actually, we did an interview with her uh, some years ago. Uh, I will say this, this happens in every industry for sure. The gaming community itself is just more involved in chatting about hiring practices in the gaming industry than others. Yes, that is very true. That is very, very, very true. Uh, industries that have this kind of like social face where where we all talk to each other, right? We're like, this shit does not just get swept under the rug and people just don't forget, right? Uh, yeah, th this kind of thing does indeed, just like crunch, crunch happens all over the place, every industry. Uh, it's, this is essentially the same thing, except that we, we actually talk to each other. And so when these things happen, good people like Christina will make sure that we're all well aware of how shitty it is. Um, and of course, yes, this brings up, this brings up uh, time to unionize, right? Union unionization talks come up uh, a lot with these kinds of things because it's fucked up. We don't know. I mean, we don't know what the pay is going to be for the people that are going, that are going to be onboarded to, uh, to work for uh, Blizzard. We don't know what their workload is going to be. But we can probably bet that knowing how the industry works, the people that were let go on average probably, make more, probably made more money than the people that are being brought on board. Because that's just the way it works. That's, that's seriously just the way it works. Uh, if someone reaches their, their, their pay cap, and uh, you let them go and you hire somebody at the pay bottom, <laughs> the, the entry pay, entry level pay. Uh, well, it's also illegal outside the U.S., but America doesn't like protecting peeps with laws and stuff. That's right. It's right. Shit. <sighs> if you make a position redundant, you can't rehire it in the EU. See? Y'all need some freedom over there. Companies need that kind of freedom, Olivia, so they can just fire people and rehire them. At will. That's what freedom is for. All right? The freedom to do shit like this. You can't rehire in America for 90 days. Well, that's 90 days. <laughs> it goes by very quickly. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I trust Olivia on the, uh, on the take on uh, what's going on in the EU and the UK uh, in terms of what their, uh, their laws are for protection because uh, 
uh, because I trust her. Um, but but here, yeah, it's not quite. There's the uh, like free the, the right to work and all that good stuff, or the right to fire, essentially. Like there's there's plenty of ways that a company could basically just let you go for whatever reason they want and then hire somebody else for whatever money amount of money they want. Uh, developers could probably unionize, but I don't see it ever happening for CMs. There's too many people that want to work with games that are too willing to sacrifice their principles for it. Yes, that is that is that's truth. That's fucking truth. People see Blizzard and they look at it like this is like this is the dream. This is the fucking dream to work for Blizzard. They grew up playing their games and it's like, I could work for Blizzard, man. And they go and they get on board and they work for them and then they get, they get tossed aside. They just get used. Um, and it fucking sucks. But the cycle will continue as long as, as long as Blizzard continues to have this, like, this is the dream of, uh, of, of video game companies. As long as they continue to have that stigma, um, people will continue to flock towards them. So the only way the only way to really break that that uh, that stigma is to talk about it. So with like this and other people who are involved in this, like like we're doing right now, <laughs> is to talk about it. So that way, folks who maybe are not aware of these kinds of things, uh, who think that Blizzard is the be all end all of video games, and they want to go in that go in as a CM, um, well, they'll know better. <laughs> Colleagues of mine there in esports had tattoos of uh, hashtag passion. It's like. You're taking the problem and tattooing it on yourself. Yeah, right? Passion. The, I'm, so, I'm so inspired to work for Blizzard. And then you get, then you get, you get your bottom of the barrel pay and then you get booted off. Um, we hire... <laughs> Listen, I'm not, talking about, I'm not talking about Josh in any, any respect here because I don't know what his opinions are. He works there and more power to him. Um, I'm more concerned with the people that were let go uh, and then having their jobs refilled like not even a few months later. Uh, the uh, Activision thing like Blizzard is just as bad as Activision. We talked about this before. There is no there is no Activision only Zool. Like no, there is no like split, man. Like it's 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 like Activision and Blizzard like the assimilation is complete. That's literally the name of the Just News episode where we talked about this because we because we were talking we we're talking about the I think the, the the quarterly earnings call. But yeah, like the now now some people who are working on the inside might have a little bit more of an insight. But um, but from the perspective of seeing how they operate and everything, like how many times how many times are they gonna do things like this and we pass it off as oh that's that's Activision doing that that's Activision squeezing squeezing them a little bit more. How many times until we realize, everybody realize that there is no Blizzard Activision. It is one group. It's one group. That's their get out of jail free card. Yeah, yeah, right? It's just like, oh, it wasn't us. It was Activision. Um... I think it's Activision has become as bad as Activision because of Activision. It happened years ago, sure, but Blizzard is still even too. Don't, don't separate them. Don't separate them anymore. It's the same thing. <laughs> to keep them together. Keep them together. Because, yeah, I mean, like, uh, like I mentioned, like, like Gaz mentioned, it's like it's, you, you're giving them a pass by saying that, uh, by, by allowing, by addressing them as being separate. I keep seeing this Hotel Diablo thing, and I want to click on it so badly because we're looking at Blizzard stuff. This is really throwing me off here. Um, uh, Act, act to Zerb, Blizz Vision, yeah. So, Bungie, Bungie really debunked that with how they're changing things. Well, Bungie, Bungie got separate. They, they got split off from the whole thing entirely, but they weren't. Bungie was not a merger. That was an Activision. Uh, an Activision. Uh, that was an ac uh, uh, um, that was an acquisition, right? It was just an act uh, acquisition, not a, that was not a merger. So uh, that is totally different. Blizzard and Activision, it was a merger. It takes time to 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 for the merger to be complete, but um, but yeah, there you go. <sighs> Bobby Connick requires more minerals. <laughs> yes, he must construct additional pylons, or I guess lay off additional pylons. <sighs> Hold it, replace them with no. I. Uh, which is heavily controlled by Activision, though. Stop separating them! I'm not reading anything else that keeps that. Say no, no, we're not separating anything. Oh, so you said Bungie. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling, I'm putting words in your mouth, Gun. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. 
All right. All right. Well, moving on. Speaking of Bungie, sorry, Blizzard, fuck. <laughs> Listen, man, it's a fucking holiday weekend, okay? All right. That's my excuse right now. I'm half checked out. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Um, Blizzard responds to criticism after changing artwork on eight Hearthstone cards. So recently, uh, Blizzard went through and they made a couple, change, couple of pretty dramatic changes to cards, um, uh, card artwork for, uh, for Hearthstone. And the, the changes were, uh, they read like, they read like censorship. A lot of folks, a lot of folks speculate that they're doing this because of China, right? They're doing this they're do because we know that in China, there's, um, a lot of limitations on what kind of artwork can be, you know, uh, can be presented in video games, uh, storylines that can be presented in video games. Uh, all of their media is very heavily, um, is, is very heavily vetted. And so if, if, a, if a game wants to sell in China, it basically has to adapt in such a way that China, China's government will accept them and allow them to sell. And there is massive incentive, massive incentive to selling a game in China. For obvious reasons, <laughs> for very obvious, for obvious reasons, um, they have like more people playing League of Legends than we have, uh, like in the U.S. Period. Uh, it's it's pretty insane how many people uh, they have, and that you can make money off of in uh, uh, in China. So, courtesy of Era, courtesy of Era, I actually have the uh, the pictures here of the uh, of the artwork before and after. So. Looking at the first two, the way it's set up is the, the one on the left is the new one. The one on the right is the old one. Uh, and it goes like that all the way down. You can see right here in the middle. And this one, I know it's kind of hard to see. I'll try to zoom a little bit farther. Uh, you could see that there was some blood splattered here. Bloop. That's been removed. That's pretty tame. Whatever. Uh, we go down the line. We see the succubus. The succubus. Looking very succubus-y. Was replaced with a fell stalker. Deadly shot. Shows a bolt going through a torrent. Now it just shows the bolt. Scroll back over here. The Wind Fury Harpy gets a little bit more clothes, I guess. Slightly less sexy pose. This is this is a this is a relatively suggestive pose here, sure. Uh, if you take it out of context, that she's a fucking flaming demon, just <laughs> like sure, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, yeah, sure. People into that. Uh, the Secret Keeper. You kind of see a butt there, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. Maybe a little risque. Changed it. Uh, bite shows a lot of blood. It's been changed. It can also be added for ratings. Yes, yes. Um, head crack also changed. Very uh, destructive head crack there. Um, now, Blizzard has denied that this was done to appease China. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't help make it easier to sell the game or promote the game in China. Um, now, I'm not going to tinfoil hat this thing that much. But it really sounds familiar because we have seen this kind of shit before. They don't like the new art. People are mad. Yeah, people are mad because they, they censored the new art. And they, they want to associate it with China. Uh, but, I mean, realistically, it's very easy to say some of these poses are quite, quite suggestive. Um, and some of the artwork, the blood and whatnot... They want to tone it down so that way they could, I don't know, maybe ease into some better reading, ratings or whatnot. Um, the sensor does not equal changed. Well, I mean, some, I mean, every single example here, I mean, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty obvious that they've, they've, they've uh, toned it down a little bit. The violence has been toned down. The, uh, the uh, suggestiveness uh, has been toned down. They, they're, yeah, they're appealing to a younger audience, so they want to tone it down a little bit. For all those reasons, I definitely agree that the artwork probably needed to be changed. Um, the Queen of Pain is more naked. I wonder, I mean, let's go zoom in. Let's go and take the Queen of Pain for uh, as an example. Because when I look at Queen of Pain or Mrs. of Pain, I see thigh. I see thigh. I see leg. All right? I see that. Uh, when I see Queen of Pain, I see armor. So, while, you, while we could argue that the new one has less armor... Uh, I would say that because of the, um, uh, because of the thighs, uh, that, uh, the one on the right is, is, is a little bit more, you know, uh, uh, suggestive. Now I'm projecting, right? I'm projecting. I have never looked, I've never looked at a, 
at a Hearthstone card and been like, damn. No. You just don't. But somebody out there looks like there's always somebody out there that's going to look at something and sexualize it in some way or form, right? And so he's oh, just me. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong card. Sorry. Sorry. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, I just, it, it's just, it's, I never looked at it like that, but somebody out there has on our behalf. And so these changes are being made to, uh, to, to, to remove some of that. And again, like, I got to think about this too. The China angle is fucking sweet. I would love to do the China angle on this thing. I really, really would. But it does make more and more, more sense that, uh, that they're doing this to, to appeal to younger gamers. Because when I look at this from the perspective of like my kid, right? If my kid start, he's six years old. He's playing Terraria now, okay? It's not that much of a stretch to say, hey, you know what? Declan might be playing uh, Hearthstone in like another, uh, you know, year or something like that. Some of this artwork could be, I mean, like, he's not going to, like, he's not going to look at this and be like, oh, oh, damn, like, this is, this is, uh, he's not going to sexualize this picture, right? But somebody might look at that and be like, I don't want my kid playing that game because of this exact picture right here. This is a very, this is a, this, this, art, honestly, like, this piece right here is really all we need to see to say, you know what, would you, would you show this artwork to your six-year-old kid? I know a lot of you guys are going to say yes, but the, pro the correct answer is probably, uh, is probably no. In a game, in, in a game, right? In a game. All you guys can say yes. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't let my, yeah, wouldn't let my six-year-old play Hearthstone anyways. I know, I wouldn't let him, I wouldn't let, I'll be like, Declan, no, you can't. Don't, no, no. Your decks are garbage. Sorry, kid. Um, it's a rating series that makes way more sense than China. I know, I know. I, I want, I want to liken it to China. Because we've talked about, and I wish I knew which story it was, we have talked about censorship. Oh yeah, uh, uh, PUBG. PUBG had to censor itself for China. And, and here's, here's the conclusion that I drew from that, is that eventually, because China is such a huge market, eventually, it's not going to make a lot of sense to make games that, uh, that don't cater to China. Why would you spend dev time making a game that doesn't cater to what, China, what China's requirements are? And so we'll get games that maybe could have looked different or maybe had a different art style or some different type of uh, feature or something in the game. But because, because we want to cater to the greater majority of, of players and where the money is, uh, they had to build a game a certain way. And so while we see, while we see the changes here, we see the before after laid out right out in front of us. We want to say, yeah, this is, this is censorship for China. And we see like PUBG's and, 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 and uh, Rainbow Six Siege uh, making changes to work in China. In the future, you won't even see it. We're not going to have this discussion because the games are just going to be released with, I guess, Chinese cap uh, uh, compatibility. Um, most games have to edit for China. Hearts already did this, uh, though, when it was like launched. Are these not old cards? Uh, the, one, the, the cards on the right are the old cards. Cards on the left are the new cards that were recently updated. Uh, I know it's a different topic altogether, but don't let kids play Hearthstone. <laughs> what a different client in China, which is why, uh, why is it that hard to do the same for Hearthstone? See? And this actually supports the idea that it's not because of China. Because, yeah, they would just, they would just have a different client for, uh, for, uh, for China. So that's what I'm saying. Like, this is... As easy as much as we want to say, this is China. This is China. Because it's censorship for China. China's censorship is happening. Yes, but I don't believe it's happening here. Is is the is the uh, is the added benefit that it's more compatible with uh, Chinese players? Sure, maybe. Maybe they're getting guff from the government saying, "Hey, you know what? This succubus picture is a little too much. A little too much suck in that succubus." Um, in the future, like I said, instead of making two clients, they'll just make one, and it'll just be. Whatever is okay with China is going to be okay for everybody else. Uh, problems, problem is the adults sexualizing and thinking kids will too and trying to push their own views by it. Yeah. No, it's true. And again, like I said, I, I am viewing this. I've never looked at a Hearthstone card and been like, damn. I, even this one, the Succubus, this card's been around since the literal, literally like one of the first cards, like in the first, like a vanilla deck, right? Uh... And I, so I've, I've put so many hours on Hearthstone, I never once look at the card and just been like, damn. Dude, no. I know, it's just, it doesn't happen. But because, because, because we're talking about it now, now I've seen it, it's like, damn. I mean, like, the secret, I've used 
stupid ass secret keeper so many times. So many times. I have never once noticed that she's ba it's a body painting suit. It's like it's like it's like shh, look at it. You could see everything. You can see your ass crack. You can see look your under boob cleavage. Is that what it's called? Under boob cleavage? It's just under boob, I think. Um you can see all that stuff. Look how skinny her arms are too. That's weird. Um Yeah, it's just I never yeah, never I never seen that. Never seen that. I mean, arguably the new artwork looks better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> oh, that one, that one loading screen from WoW with a cod piece. Who's who's that? Who's that person? Who's that? <laughs> is that what you're referring to? So, so what was it? Uh, uh, Garrosh is like cod piece. Somebody thought it was like another character because it looks like a face, and someone was like, "Who's that person in front of uh, in front of Garrosh?" And someone was like, "Uh, that would be his cod piece." Uh, is that promoting sexual content? No, it's not. We're talking about the difference in the art styles, jerks. So, so yeah, yes, eventually China, 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 Chinese players are going to uh, dictate, or Chinese government is going to dictate uh, what we have in a lot of our games that are globally sold, uh, because dev time to make two different versions of the game, one to appeal to Western audiences and one to appeal to Chinese audiences, uh, it's not going to be worth putting that money into or, or actually I didn't say worth but like some companies can't really can't really uh dedicate time to uh afford to actually uh make two different versions of their client specifically because they want to cater to both both audiences so you come up with a a neutral art style that makes everybody happy like everything else they're doing these days these days uh when the blood elves dress goes around her boobs tightly they what oh oh, oh, oh oh I think I know what you talk about uh, did you miss a cube world? There's no cube world news. We're not talking about cube world today. All right, it's not happening. Are we just no guns? Don't say that. You're on a list. You're on a list. Oh man. In other news, no cube world. Yes, cube world. They they released some screenshots, but they it was too soon. It was too soon. They should they should have waited. He, they, he should have waited. It's not dead to me. It's, I just don't want to talk about it. It's a sensitive subject. Remember like five years ago, that one time, remember that one time a big game company got DDoS? Remember that? Remember that one time that a big couple big game companies got DDoS? It happened like all the time. But we got an update for you. Somebody's going to jail for two years. A two-year sentence has been handed down to an individual who had a role in a series of DDoS attacks against Daybreak Games, then known as Sony Online Entertainment. How things have changed since then. Uh, Austin Thompson has been sentenced to 27 months in prison for his role in DDoS attacks, which occurred in 2013 and 2014. Thompson pleaded guilty on the charges on November 18th and was sentenced yesterday. As part of his sentence, he has to pay $95,000 in restitution. So the 2013 attacks were done by derp trolling. You guys remember Derp Trolling and what was the other one? Lizard, Lizard, Lizard Squad. Um, a whole one. Yeah. So he's going to jail for a couple years. It, it took five, six years to make that happen. But uh, yeah, he's going to go to jail for a couple years. So much can change in five or six years. This guy, this guy probably, I mean, he's what, 20, 20, what, 20, uh, 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 well, I, we could probably assume that he's 20 something right now because this happened six years ago. Uh, you imagine doing something stupid when you're like 17 years old. And then, like, having to go to jail six years later for it? Isn't this the same guy that did swatting? No. That was somebody else. We'll probably hear about his sentencing in 2022. It's okay. White Rose would get him out, Mike. Like, <laughs> are we ever getting another season of that? Um... Is this the dude that phoned Bonnet Place a year prior to even... It even tweeted a bomb threat to American Airlines grounding a plane, uh, uh, which company president John Smelly was... Uh, traveling. Yeah, that was, that was, uh, that was Lizard. That was Lizard Squad. See, Drip Trolling was the only hacking group targeting Daybreak Games. Lizard, uh, Lizard Squad has, has attacked online services. Um, wait, let's just click. I can't remember if, which, which one it was, actually. Lizard Squad. It was Lizard Squad. So this guy is not Lizard Squad. Lizard Squad is a different group that's doing this. Um, that was also, uh, DDoSing, I guess. Um, but Derp Trolling was, uh, was the one that was caught and, uh, has been sentenced to two years in jail. So, if you initiate a DDoS attack, which, does anybody do that anymore? 
in video games. I feel like that's not even a thing anymore. Um, I remember every time something went down, somebody was like, oh, again, DDoS, oh, again, DDoS. And now I feel like we don't really hear it as often as we do. I know, pro I know it still happens, but I, I feel like it just, like, it just, it's never a, a thing. It's just like hardly everything anymore. Uh, oh, they just blamed DDoS a couple weeks ago or a week, 20 minutes, uh, on his PC cost. Oh, wait, yeah. Two, yeah, yeah. Two years in his life. How funny that, yeah. Really put it in perspective right there, guns. It's like, oh, it's so easy to DDoS. It takes like 20 minutes. It's like, well, there you go. <laughs> now you go in jail for two years. Um, but can't you DDoS the DDoS, sir? Wolvie will answer that question for you. Or kids will answer that question. I'm going to set someone else with that one. Uh, I'm just going to sh shoot that off to this side. Um, yes, yes, yes. You can, you can. Uh, BDO got DDoS last weekend. I just, you know what it is? It just doesn't get headlines. Like it just, before it was like, everyone was talking about it. That, uh, you know, when something would happen, it's like, oh, it's fucking DDoS. And now it's, it's like, maybe it just kind of fell out of, uh, it just, it just, it just fell out of, uh, favor with the, uh, as a meme. Now it's just a thing. It's like, oh my God, another fucking DDoS. In weird news. I was going to leave this out, but fuck it. We'll just throw it in. Why not? Uh, an interesting incident happened at, uh, at tank fest. Hold on. Oh Jesus. Oh, it's starting already. An interesting thing happened at tank fest. Which is a World of Tank uh, convention, um, which takes place in uh, Dorset, uh, UK, where I guess a fire broke out, and uh, you don't see the fire, you just see the reaction here of one particular streamer who was streaming on a really nice camera setup, mind you. Uh, let's go and take a look. I gotta leave, leave this building. Hopefully. I... I'm okay. I'm gonna have to go AFK in the world of tanks. Okay, so ladies and gents, boys and girls, there's a fire. You know what I have to do when there's a fire? This is what we have to do when there's a fire. This is what we have to do. Yeah. Alright, whoops. That sound you heard, that sound you heard, that boom, and he puts on the headphones, he walks away, that was him getting, uh, getting, I guess, the final kill in that match. Like, they're evacuating everybody, and because I watched the rest of that VOD to see what happened, he comes back like 45 minutes later, and he kind of explains what happened. And what happened was, uh, I guess a, 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 a tank or something, a gas tank, sorry, I should break, a, 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 a gas tank, not a good tank, um, caught fire in the kitchen, so, uh, the food court area. So that's, that's what happened. No big deal, wasn't a big of a deal, but I love that as he's leaving, you hear the, he's like, he's standing there, he goes... And you hear the, the explosion, and then he comes back later and he shows uh, the kill count, uh, the, the kill thing, and uh, uh, listen, it shows that he did as he was leaving. He was just like, oh shit, we're evacuating, but I gotta get one more kill! And he fucking did! What a stud. Uh, <laughs> so, what I was uh, still waiting for the part where this gets interesting, Mike. That's it! There was a fire at a place, and that was it! What do you do when there's a fire at a, at a convention? And you know, I'll tell you, I was actually at a convention when I was, uh, I was at, uh, C, no, uh, God, what do they call it? It was what they called, um, GDC, no, no, what's it called, uh, um, CES before it was C, Comdex, yeah, Comdex. Was it Comdex? I think it was Comdex. Um, like 30 years ago. It was a long time. It was like 25 years ago. Uh, and there was a gas leak. There was like a gas, yeah, there was a gas leak that, uh, and everybody started coughing. It was really, it was really surreal. Cause I remember it was like, I was like, uh, coughing. And then you notice that everybody's coughing and then they were like evacuate. They basically evacuated everybody. There was a gas leak that got into the, uh, the air duct system and it basically, it essentially acted as a distribution system for this gas. Uh, and I don't know what gas it was, but all I know is that it made everybody cough violently and we all like. It took a long time for people to notice. And it was funny because once you start to notice, you're like looking around and you know, you're coughing and you notice that like everybody else is coughing, but nobody is noticing that everybody else is coughing. And it was such a weird incident. And then they are just like, and they set off the alarm. They're like, you got to fucking get out. And so we all like just left and, and got out and it took them a while, but they opened everything back up eventually. But, um, <laughs> everyone forgets when Gary Gannon's house burned down, but he stayed there and got the stream back up and running like a hero. That's right. Was it the actual PC that like burnt like right there in front of him? It's weird. Did anyone get superpowers? I did. I haven't figured out what those are yet, but I guess I did. They're in there somewhere. Uh, if you know what it is, my superpower is that I'm like I'm, I'm slightly above average at uh, at uh, platformers. 
That's all I got, man. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> is PSU caught? That's right. That's right. It was uh, is PSU the caught fire? Don't do hard drugs and stream news. Yes, don't do that. Um, <sighs> it's right. Oh, flux, flux remembers. That is my superpower. I can, I can stop if I get, uh, if I get a hiccup, I can stop it. That's my stupid power. It's so dumb. It's the worst fucking superpower to have. I don't get hiccups, guys. I really don't. If I get a hiccup, I make it go away. It's so fucking stupid. It's awesome because I don't get hiccups. But that's it. It's never going to save my life. Maybe if I become like a, like a bomb diffuser or something. I still don't believe you. <laughs> There's no way to prove it. There's no way to prove it. There's no way. You, can, you literally have to take my fucking, you have to take my word for it. You have to take my word for it. Uh, that, there it is. That's it. That's my superpower. That's what I got. Can I burp on command? <laughs> of course I can. <laughs> what? What? Who can't? Who can't? Everyone can, can, everyone can burp on command. Um, one day all these hiccups you encounter will come back at once. Oh, you think they're building up? They're, build, they're building up. By the way, excuse me. Sorry, that was terrible. Excuse me. Pardon me. Jeez, you guys are a terrible influence. I'm really good at saying excuse me, and y'all fucked it up for me. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B. You can pick up some of my bathwater right now at akmikeb.com slash bathwater. Pick it up now. You can find me at AK Mike B on all of the social things. Thank you so much, everybody here. My co, my co, my co peoples, Uncle Chat, Auntie Chats. Thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Independence Day weekend or whatever kind of weekend you guys are having. Bye.